I want to talk about prosthetics and accessibility because so many people have no idea what that world is like. Um, prosthetics obviously improve the quality of life. How much do they cost and how challenging is it to get them? <laughs> oh my gosh, how much time do we have? <laughs> because so it's going to be different for prosthetics for someone that is a foot amputee, below the knee amputee, above the knee in a hip because for each joint you're missing, that's where the money and the technology starts to become more of a factor. So for me, for these bad boys, <laughs> which I need to polish up because I spilled yogurt and there's like milk on them, but <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but so this is the knee unit and then this is the foot and the pylon. Mm -hmm. And th for, I have two of these. So it's $250,000 every four years because insurance will only allow for these knees as a civilian to be refurbished four times. Wow. And then I will not, I will, will not be able to go and say, can you refurbish them? Even though the unit itself can, you can't insurance wise and you have to start all over. And the knee is where the most, it's the most expensive thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not, um, and then the wild thing is as a double above the knee amputee, these knees have like microprocessor chips in them and mm -hmm. hydraulics and stuff. So for me, this is what I need, but there's, what's challenging is I was given an option, well, okay, well, either you get like a wheelchair or you get prosthetics, you can't get both. Mm -hmm. And it needs to change because sometimes when these go out and I'm a klutz, I break things, I'm just, just talk, I'm talking to someone like, oh yeah, I don't know if it's a curse or if it's like a talent that I have to just look at something and it breaks, mm -hmm. but some, it's gonna happen. And you can go to your Ace Hardware store and get that WD-40 and some screws, but some things you can't.